Well, howdy folks. Welcome to another solemn Sunday. And um, I know it seems like we just had one of those a couple weeks ago. In fact, I'm actually wearing the shirt from Andy, my friend who just passed away. Um, his family sent me this shirt for the memorial that they set up and it's so good. I cried when I saw it. It looks so much like him. But um, anyway, that's, today I've got some more bad news that just a couple days ago I found out that my friend Barry passed away in Maryland. Um, died in his home of a heart attack. And uh, really, really hit me. And um, what's interesting about that, if you've followed my channel for a while, you know that my friend Ryan died about 12 years ago and I've done several tributes to him. The latest was the trip that I took to Seattle in Grunge Rock territory and I dedicated that video to him. Well, Barry died 12 years later to the day. Pretty crazy. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about Barry this morning. I'm not going to do a song because I'm just not in the, the mood to sing. Um, but the music that you hear in the background was actually composed by him. Uh, he was a brilliant artist, musician, and sound experimenter that he considered himself. I met Barry online in 2016 and then met him in person at KnobCon in 2016 and made a lifelong friendship, I guess, though it, life wasn't quite as long as we all thought it would be. Um, and uh, kept up with Barry regularly. Really, really good guy. He came to visit me when I was in Dallas. I took him to the pie store in Dallas. That's, I think, some of the best pie I've ever had in my life. And um, anyway, could go on. But I want to tell you a little bit about who Barry was. So in addition to him being like a sound experimenter, and ironically, if you're a subscriber of the channel, you just saw the videos I posted of the HCTT. It was Barry that got me interested in cassette tapes and tape loops and all that stuff. That was Barry's doing. So if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have built this. Barry also got me into DIY and my very first DIY project right here, the Jarmageddon. This is what got me started on cigar box guitars and everything. This was the first project. This was the one that did it. And I actually went to this class with Barry in 2017. And uh, what's interesting about that story that um, dovetails nicely here. So there was a kid in the class who was a special needs kid. And um, people tend to react, you know, really well and help, help out folks who need that extra help. But he had kind of a, um, I'll say an aggressive personality for lack of a better way to say that. But when you have somebody that has special needs, but then they have that kind of a side effect, you know, people don't necessarily want to help him. But Barry did. And I remember Barry went over and started helping this guy and stayed an hour late to help him get his project completed because that's the type of guy that Barry was. Even if nobody else wanted to help, he did. And, um, you know, really spoke volumes about his character. And he would do these art installations he, all over um, the DC area. And um, he actually had one that was in the Smithsonian, but he had these things, he called them perturbance installations. And he would do something like take a trumpet, for instance, and instead of forcing air through it to make the sound, he would like have little servos that would bang on the side of it and make little clicking sounds. And he said they were borderline annoying, which is why he called them perturbance installations, but still musical. Barry was very involved in the DIY communities and the um, synthesis and audio experimentation type communities, very involved in the artistic community in the DC area. Um, and he's just sorely, sorely going to be missed. I had the good fortune that I was able to actually uh, spend some time with Barry outside of music as well. Um, we went mountain climbing as a group in, uh, in Arizona and that was really fond memories. But anyway, um, I'll let his music and his visuals take us out of this video and um, just wanted to say I miss you, bud. <laughs> 